Hello, I'm Joe Wren. Gubernatorial candidates faced off today at Lawrence North High School in Indianapolis. The debate focused on education. Republican candidate Eric Holcomb and Democratic candidate John Gregg agreed on a faster turnaround on standardized test scores and no commitment to in-state tuition for Indiana students without American citizenship. The two candidates did diverge on where the state's teacher shortage came from. And I think that to go away from having a grade is a disservice to taxpayers, to parents, and to the schools themselves. Um, editorial pages, uh, community leaders, elected officials, business people, they all talk about the need for skilled labor. So I think one of the things we as civic and community leaders ought to do is talk about the need for good teachers. Libertarian candidate Rex Bell says state testing has driven teachers from the profession. State lawmakers met this week for the first study committee taking an overview of Indiana's alcohol laws. At its first meeting, the study committee reviewed the history of Indiana's alcohol laws. Republican Representative Matt Lehman, chair of the committee, says a list of priorities likely won't include action on the controversial issue of Sunday alcohol carryout sales. And harvest season is beginning. The latest USDA numbers say 74 percent of Indiana corn is mature and 15 percent has been harvested. Soybeans are slightly behind with 9 percent harvested as of this week. Still growers are expecting a near record harvest this fall. And now a quick check of the forecast for tonight. Partly cloudy, lows down to 51 and rain in the five day forecast, although a slight chance of showers the next few days with highs up into the upper 60s. We have more on these stories and more news at WTIUNews.org.